Hello everybody, Average Gamer, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate. As the China. So, what we're going to do in this episode is just as fun as we've been doing in the other ones. Playing with the economy. Um, pretty much that's all this playthrough is going to be turned into. Um, for at least the next little bit until we become, you know, quite the economic superpower. Um... So, a few things we're doing, obviously, is we're trying to increase our GDP, while at the same time modifying our trades. Um, by doing that, what we're mainly doing is modifying our social spending, sorry, with our trades to keep money flowing in. Interesting, those numbers are definitely different. Should be roughly like that. The plan is to get this number here, half of what this number is, give or take. Um, so that way we always have a positive cash flow. Um, also by modifying and changing what our stuff is here, we're going to obviously tweak some stuff. So today, because I want to reduce our GDP, I'm going to lower a lot of the prices for things. Um, for example, um, everything is going to be cut to 100%. Now, First things first, we might end up running into a bit of a, we'll say a snafu with uh, with prices for the first little bit, or sorry, for uh, for goods. A6. But what we're going to do is just activate or deactivate the buildings associated with what we need to do. Consumer goods. Yeah, we're gonna pause. Then we're gonna launch quickly our stuff here. Okay, day ended. We're gonna pause real quick here. We're gonna see what they want. They want uranium. Okay. I'm also wanna see how our stuff is here. So right now, agriculture is good. We'll have to see how it is in a day or two. Oil's okay. Coal, yeah, yeah. Power is good. Consumer goods are good. Okay. Unpause and let things kind of take over what they're going to do here. GP 7359. And we're making money. We're going to set the speed to fastest. And we're just going to zoom in to our capital for the moment. See what these trade deals are. Nothing too crazy. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to set it to very fast. That's good. Good, 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 good. We might need some more power down the road. Thirty percent capacity, but that's a hundred percent. Inflation's at seven point three percent, which is not the greatest, but we did reduce our tax rate, so that's something we always got to pay attention to. Um, I'm actually contemplating reducing the tax rate even more, down to thirty-two percent. What we want to do is we want to drive up, drive up our uh, our GDP, and then once it's hit, once it's nice and high, then we can just play the the inflation game and basically crush our inflation. And basically, it's going to go almost like a like a wave. Our our inflation and our money are going to go up as our everything expands. We're going to settle everything off and then slowly reduce and then reduce and lower our GDP. Unfortunately get our, our inflation really low and then it'll have to be the fight up again the plan is to get our inflation down faster as our as our funds go up so it'll take a while our inflation will probably get to uh we'll say stupid levels but uh, we should be able to combat that no problem we're at 73 74 So we're going to need more agriculture. So one of the things I wanted to do was modernize our agriculture. 
by building some hydroponics. So we're going to build 10 more of these puppies. Actually, we're going to build 20 of these puppies, which are going to cause office air inflation to go up. We're going to go with some synthetic rubber. We're going to build at least 15 of them. Timber, we're going to do the same thing. Nine to make that 130. Oil. Seven, eight, nine. That'll be 10. We're going to activate a bunch to make it up to 620. Always like to make sure you're not, uh, everything's turned on. Oil. Coal. We're going to activate and bring things up a little bit to 680. That gives people jobs, which is good. Seven, I want to... Oh, shit. 7, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uranium. We're good. For, way better for uranium than we need to be. Power, though. Power, I don't think is good. We're going to build another 10 nuclear power plants. Consumer goods. We haven't been able to upgrade these yet. So we're going to build five more. Industrial goods, we're going to do the same thing. And military goods. We're going to activate ten. As for money, I haven't been paying attention. There we go. We're going to agree to all those. So basically, we're going to grow our economy. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to ignore certain other options to grow our GDP and stuff like that. So we'll have to play the game as we go here. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're kind of getting there on agriculture, timber, petroleum. What is this? Oh, military goods. Now, a lot of building is also going to cause our inflation to go up. So it's kind of, uh, we're kind of between a rock and a hard place. So. Up this to no, I want to up it. I'm up it so I mean, at least the negatives. There we go. Here, I don't really want to be making money. I want it, I'd rather be more even than this is, but make our budget a little bit more balanced. Uh, our GDP is at 74.70. Our inflation is only at 7.6%, actually. I'm impressed with that. Uh, you want to buy a consumer? Oh, jeez. Coal, 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 consumer. Yeah, okay, I can do that, because I'm building a lot. Our money's sitting pretty all, pretty pretty good. Now, one of the plans, too, is once we have our military, our, our economy all situated, one of the things we are going to do as well is modernize our military. Um, once we've got our GDP, actually, you want? Let's uh, let's start modernizing it now. Actually, I think this uh, Zonnik is one of the better ones. I have to double check though. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll sell you. I'll sell you those goods. The IOF two. It's twenty one twenty five. Nope. Oh no, it's actually our uh, our best unit right now. Go uh, 
Go figure. It's like, hey, let's modernize our military. Oh, wait. Our best infantry unit is already... Oh, actually, I got to build more anyways. Industrial goods. Okay. One, two, three, four. Consumer and consumer goods. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Land units only, please. Well, actually, that's why. We have a lot of mounted units. Engineers, light infantry. Speaking of which, uh, nanomedicine has been completed. And people want to buy stuff. Okay. Question is, which one is better? The YW531... Or the IOF two. Uh, so you're twenty one, twenty five. Then we'll say eighteen. Twenty one, twenty five, eighteen. Twenty one, twenty five, eighteen. So yeah, you're. So the Y five thirty ones are going to be gone as well. So to, yeah, the H's are what? What was that? What, what was this? Ah, the design has been replaced. So it even tells you if it's if it's obsolete. Nice. I never realized that. Ah, ha, ha, it's been replaced as well. So the amphibious light tanks haven't been replaced yet by another, by another, uh, yeah, I'll sell you those consumer goods. Aircraft designs, let's take a look, see what we can research here. Look at that. Future combat aircraft. So this will unlock things like the F-117 Ruski. The CF-19 Aero Mark IV. So apparently a tactical bomber. The J-12, which is probably us. Yeah. Nice. What is... Wow. 110 is a profile. Higher this number, the better the... Uh, the stealth. If I'm not mistaken, that's, that's, that's very good. Consumer goods, all that stuff. Okay, so we're definitely going to research you for medical. Nano antitoxin vac vaccines. Our people want it, so we're going to give it to them, but it also increases our healthcare rating by five. So we're going to take that. Nano surgery, our people love it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to reduce our cost by 5%. We're good there. No military tech aircraft. We're going to have the Supreme Tiger. And the J-12. 110. I believe the lower the profile, the better, but I'm going to have to double check that. I'm just going to look that up right now. I think it's the lower the number, but the fact that the number is so high on a modern jitter craft, quote unquote. Ruler... It's been a while, units. Unit profile. Uh, give me one second. I guess this is like the weapon profile, the ability to basically see it. Here we go. B, C. M, N, O, P. Whoop, or us. P, products, player, production, product, profile. Uh, profile's degree of visibility due to its strength. The higher the unit profile it is, the higher its degree of stealth. Perfect. Okay, so I was correct. Okay. So the higher the number, the better it is stealth-wise. That's 110, which is really good. And just so you can see... 
if we compare it to a current aircraft, um, our number one multi rail aircraft right now is we're using the naval flanker. It has a profile of 30. So, stealth is, is going to be a big deal later on. Industrial goods, consumer goods, consumer goods. Yeah, I'll do that. Those are missiles. What are we building here? Nukes. Anti submarine. Uh, Got a missile. Okay, so this is for ships only. Oh, the Karens are swapping out. Okay. I would love to see how many missiles we have here. 328 of you. We have 654 of you. Six hundred and fifty five, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, queued yet. We have four hundred and thirty nine nuclear missiles. What? Oh, yeah, I haven't deployed a lot. I haven't deployed ninety one of these damn things. There we go. So we're currently at four hundred and thirty nine nuclear uh, ICBMs, basically. Uh, we have no. Oh, yes. Oh, we do have ground. We have 36 of you, so you're all going to be moved over. Aircraft, no. Uh, where are my B-52s? So the B-52Ds cannot take nuclear weapons. Interesting. Okay. So it's not a... It, I can't actually use it as a strategic uh, bomber. It was just the, the other ones that unfortunately are all destroyed. On the right side, we now have the PF-90 anti-tank weapon. Uh, the WZ-2000. And the Wu Zen 9 Patrol AWAC aircraft, whatever that is, and have to look. And the supply vehicle. Consumer goods and all that jazz. Um, AWACs. Oh, here we go. The KJ 2000. Oh, okay. Range of 141 in comparison. It's 235. So somehow our constellations are the best in the game for spotting. One forty one, one forty one. I don't know how that works, to be honest with you. You figure modern AWACs would have better spotting abilities than uh, than others, but nope. But nope. Uh, bridging, supply vehicles, etc. Air defense. At us, SA-2s. S-400s. Defense artillery, PLZ 155s, MORS is a whole bunch of them, bunch of mortars, bunch of howitzers. Wait a minute, our main self propelled guns are interesting. Oh, there, there, there. So they've actually been replaced as well. Jeez. 
Consumer goods, consumer goods. Okay, okay. Did I pause? Did I pause? Did I pause? I paused. Okay. Uh, they don't have the money to do this. Why they offer me? All right, so in the next episode, we're going to modernize our military a little bit. Uh, we're going to scrap a whole bunch of units, and we're going to start construction of uh, of more modern ones. We have 30 build slots. Um, we're probably going to use the majority of them. Uh, aircraft slot. Our Navy's already up to date, so we don't have to worry about our Navy. Um, our Air Force, we might build a small amount of aircraft. Um... Right now in reserves, we have 3,600 ground units. We're going to try and double that. Um, and also we're going to scrap a lot of old units. Air units, we're going to try to double, plus scrap old units. Warships, we're not too worried. Um, these are the ships that are deployed there, and probably some ships that are deployed here to our allies. Nope. I thought I had... Oh, okay, so I only have eight ships, and they're all deployed here. Interesting. All right. Well, in the next episode, we modernize our military. Until then, see you guys in the battlefield. Bye-bye.